Just a week ago, deputies with the Polk County Sheriff's Office ran into this 10 foot, 700 pound gator near a middle school. It's just the latest example proving if you live in Central Florida, gators can show up anywhere mm -hmm. and at any time. But just how frequent are those sightings and where are they spotted the most? We sent News 6 investigator Maris Badcock to find out. Well, this all started with those few simple questions, so I went looking for answers. I dug through some data, and that took us on a little adventure through wild, weird, wonderful Central Florida. Home to more than 2,000 alligators. It's also, Come here, buddy. fittingly, Florida's first theme park. Gatorland. Turnpike, come here. We met with Brandon here, Fisher. Oh, that's a good boy. A gator expert. Oh, I hear you, Buddy, here. Who still has all 10 fingers and toes. Come on, gators. Oh, despite its day job. Everybody thinks alligators all oh, mean scary, but they're not going to eat people just to eat people. They're not going to eat your dogs and cats just to eat them. They get scared. They're very protective animals. Protective. There you go, big boy. And hungry. Once you hand feed a wild alligator, once you touch a wild alligator, that's it. You basically signed his death certificate. They get used to us very, very quickly. News 6 found at least once a day on average, Florida alligators and human habitats collide. State data shows nearly 400 people reported alligators that were a little too close for comfort last year. Brevard County had the most calls statewide for troublesome gators. Orange County came in fourth. New Six also found a 10-footer in DeBerry, six gators together in St. Cloud, another at a school in Sanford, and at least five gators at public stores across the state. But most of the documented sightings happened at public parks or residential areas near wetlands, like this one. Just wondering, did you guys ever call about an alligator? Yes. Yep. Piper and her grandmother were two of those people who called twice last year after spotting a baby four-footer in the ditch outside her Polk County home. There was a dude that came out here once, and he's seen it, but he like he went into the, the drains. When they called the second time? There's a house on the other side, and apparently they've been feeding him. They were told the drain ditch owner would have to report it. A call that could go to Mark Monez, a trapper who deals with nuisance gators in Polk County. This is where they said the gator was? Yeah, they wanted to get the gator removed before they did any work in here. It looks like the gator must have removed himself. Yeah. A false alarm, but we still got to meet these nuisance gators. <laughs> Caught earlier in the day. Definitely not happy. He was trying to get somebody's dog, and she was fearful that the dog was going to get taken. The largest he's ever caught? 13-6. That's bull gator status. And locally, these lakes have the largest populations of gators larger than 9 feet. Lake Poinsett on the St. Johns River, Lake Kissimmee in Osceola County, and Lake Jessup in Seminole County. Lake Jessup actually used to be a uh, dumping site for the trappers here in the state. Growing up, I always heard that you could take a stone and skip it on Lake Jessup and hit like 10 alligators. There's a lot of them there, I know that. So what about the lakes in your neighborhood? We've got a year's worth of data from Florida Fish and Wildlife, info we put together right here in this map. So you can see where gators have been sighted throughout the past year, and you can also see the size of the gator if you click on the individual dots. I'm Maris Badcock, getting results, New 6. Good to check that mm -hmm. map before you go water skiing. <laughs> yes, uh, absolutely, Good absolutely. Good stuff, thank you so much. <laughs>